Today's video is about surface mount soldering using a hot air rework station. The model I'm using is the 852A Plus from AOU, however you pronounce that. This is a common model available worldwide. We're going to solder the components used in our own LCD backpack. There is a 20 pin microcontroller, a MOSFET transistor and a variable resistor, all surface mount components. We will also be using a laser cut stencil for adding the solder paste to the circuit board. The stencil is 0.1mm thick, which may not seem thick enough to apply sufficient solder paste, but it is. So let's get rid of the components for now and we'll apply our solder paste. Line up the stencil holes with the component pads and add a blob of solder paste, either from a syringe or from a little tub. The perfect tool for spreading the paste is a craft knife blade. Once your stencil is lined up correctly, hold it down to stop it moving and spread the paste with the blade. Lift off the stencil and check that the paste has transferred to the pads correctly. Any problems, just wipe it off and start again. We can clean up the stencil with the blade, scrape off the unused solder paste and then wipe with a cloth. Now we can add the components to our board. A pair of SMD tweezers is useful here. Drop the chip onto the solder paste. Make sure the pads are aligned and give it a gentle press. The solder paste will hold it in position. Now we add the transistor. Drop it into place and a little press will hold it. Don't worry if this is not perfectly aligned. When the solder paste heats up it will be pulled into position. Add the last component and we are ready for the hot air station. I use a heat proof mat for the board to sit on. The hot air is coming out at 350 degrees centigrade so don't do it on anything that will burn. The hot air rework station is easy to use. Turn on the power and then turn on the hot air. Set the required temperature. We use 350 degrees. The airflow can be left to the default. It only takes a few seconds to heat up. Use the hot air gun about a centimetre from the board and for transistors like this move the gun in a circular motion. The solder paste soon melts and the transistor is pulled into the correct alignment. For the chip, go up and down each row of the pins. It will be obvious when the paste has melted. Give the chip a little press to seat it firmly in the solder. Again, a circular motion is used for the variable resistor. And that's it. Check the board under a magnifying glass and rework any joints if you need to.